Hey guys, it's Joanita here again. So today I'm sharing with you guys great feminine hygiene tips. So I'm here to help you feel good about yourself. You know when you're healthy, you're living in a healthy body, a clean body, you will feel confident. So I'm gonna help you boost your confidence, you know? Otherwise when you're smelling yourself and mm, it doesn't feel good, you won't be confident around, you know, other people. You won't even, you know, have that great self-love, yeah? So I'm gonna share with you guys tips on full body hygiene the number one tip i want to share with you guys today and i feel like this is something that is always left out with people sharing feminine hygiene tips but it's very very important and very crucial and that is reapply to smell good all day reapply that perfume reapply that deal reapply your lipstick reapply your moisturizer reapply your sunscreen guys everything that you use on a daily to help you feel good if you're a sports person, when you're going out to do your sports, I know you will use your deer in the morning, but if you're now walking out to do the sports, please do reapply, use the deer again, use some perfume, and then get going so that you won't have that great bad smell when you're coming back, all right? Um, if you've been home, yes, I know you woke up in the morning, you had a shower, you're smelling all good, but now you're going somewhere, please reapply your deer around because you're probably going out in the sun and you know it's going to get hot and you'll sweat and you know what happens when you sweat? Sweat always comes with a bad smell, right? So please do reapply during the day. There, there are these small, small perfumes that you can actually have in your bag with you, that you can carry in your bag. You know those teeny, tiny, small perfumes? Yeah. So much as you have your perfumes that you have at home, please make sure that you have that small perfume that you can carry with you in your bag so that, you know, you, you've been at work, but now you're going in for a meeting with your boss or MD or whatever. Reapply your perfume, yeah? Go in smelling good, yeah? You're going to go in smelling good, you're going to feel all the confidence. So, be sure to reapply whatever you use that helps you feel good. Have like a small oil in your bag, whereby you know you've, you're going to spend a long day away from home. And in the middle of the day, you look at your arms and they look pale. You look at your feet and they look pale. You have your oil with you, just reapply on your arms, on your feet, even just your hands. Sometimes when we wash our hands, you know, they get pale. And you don't like how they are looking have your oil with you reapply your moisturizer yeah even when it comes to sunscreen many of us you know when you're leaving home you use your sunscreen right and in the middle of the day if it gets so hot if you have your sunscreen with you just reapply just to make sure that you still remain smelling good and fresh all day long and then closely related to the reapplying guys Use Dio at night as well. Mm -hmm. I've heard of people who say that when they shower at, at night, they just want to go to bed feeling all fresh from the shower. And, you know, you don't want to put anything else on your body. I do not agree with that. Totally disagree. After bathing in the night, yes, you're going to bed. Please do reapply your deodorant and go to bed smelling fresh. And trust me, you, you're going to wake up smelling fresh. Go without the deodorant, wake up in the morning, do a thing or two, try to pay yourself breakfast or that. You're going to start feeling like you don't smell right. Have you experienced that? <laughs> Are you going to let me know in the comments if you've experienced that? Well, it happens. But that's because you are not reapplying, guys. So even at night after bathing, please do reapply your deodorant. Even if it's a spray, do spray again. Okay? So that you wake up in the morning still smelling fresh. It's just like the brushing your teeth. Please do brush your teeth when you're going to bed, okay? So that you wake up smelling fresh. If you do not brush your teeth prior to going to bed, trust me, you're going to wake up with a very bad odor in your mouth. However, when you brush before bed, trust me, when you wake up in the morning, you won't have that very bad odor, yeah? So, you know, really doing these things that help us stay clean will actually keep you clean and smelling good all the time. And then guys, most importantly, please do use that deal generously. It's yours. You bought it. Yeah. <laughs> please do use your deodorant generously. If it's a spray, please spray. <sighs> Yay. Do that. If it's a roll on, please use it. Yeah. Roll it on over there until you feel like the whole place is now wet and there's nothing more that you're really adding on. Okay. Um, it's not right for you to use a little bit because you're trying to save on it. You love your deal. You don't want it to get finished first, so you do a little bit, a little bit this side and you're done. No, don't do that to yourself. Because before the end of the day, you're going to start smelling funny and you'll be like, mm, but I use the deodorant, I don't know why I'm getting that bad smell, yeah? So please, use the deodorant. Use it until you feel like the whole place is, you know, moisturized and you don't even have to add in more, like, you're not putting it anywhere. If it's a spray, spray, 
you know do not save on those things guys these are health things to keep us you know healthy and smelling good so you're not supposed to be saving on these things use as much as you need to use Just right washing yeah. your hair often ladies when did you last wash your hair most especially when you put on the braids or you have a wig on and then you're having it for like a month or two or three you know some people have braids for over two months and you have not washed that hair really really i can't even imagine i can't even imagine the smell that you're keeping in that hair because you know what happens we always oil our hair right so where do you think that oil disappears to you know like when you oil your hair and then after some time you feel like it's getting itchy and you need to oil it again now where did the other oil disappear to you know what happens you sweat and then all that sweat is getting into your hair you know so the sweat builds up and then that oil and the sprays you keep putting in there they all build up and then you're going to end up smelling your hair is gonna be smelling so please if you had those braids for over two weeks please wash your hair okay if you've had that wig for over a month please wash your hair and you do not have to wait for the time you're going to the salon and um, you know some people think that they have to first go to the salon and do the hair and then get it washed no you can still wash those braids when you have them on your head yes you can still wash the braids just get yourself a shampoo make sure you have a shampoo at home make sure you have a dryer at home so you can do this yourself you don't have to spend on this yeah and even if you do not have a hand dryer guys just get yourself a shampoo wash your hair and it will dry you know it will dry just give it time it will dry but please please wash your hair and closely related to the hair wash your pillows wash your pillows <laughs> ladies how often do you wash those pillowcases Mm -hmm. um so i feel like for a lady you should wash your pillowcases weekly and you know why um you always put oils in your hair you know your hair is always oiled and greasy you might just be wearing a, a nightcap for your hair when you're going to bed but are you sure those pillowcases are clean please take them off and wash them and some of you actually have to wash the pillows themselves you know when you remove that pillowcase hmm that pillow is dirty and it doesn't even smell good so you probably have to find a way of opening it up and wash that pillow you know that pillowcase that is covering the real pillow the one you put another one on top of now that one needs to be washed yeah yes it needs to be washed or even better just buy new pillows still closely related to that to that how often do you wash your towel i suggest you wash your towel as well weekly so guys these are things we need to wash weekly and wash your towel weekly wash your pillowcases weekly please do wash and change your undergarments every day guys every oh speaking of undergarments when did you last wash that black bra of yours huh <laughs> ladies where did you last wash that black bra of yours so please wash that black bra oh gosh we all love that black bra right but please wash that black bra if you're wearing it often then you really need to wash it often so please be be sure and for my ladies who do sports you know you, you go to the gym or you have games that you play you need to wash these things every day a lady cannot wear the same sports bra you are wearing the day before you know you sweat in it you can't have that sweat build up you want to be a clean lady you want to smell good all the time you hate the fact that when you go for your sports you come back not smelling that good well one of the ways to keep clean is to make sure that you're washing your undergarments. So the sports bra, the stockings you're wearing, um, your knickers, you know these are things that we're supposed to wash daily. So please, please, if you do sports every day, then you need to have a couple of them that you know you, you have to change. If you're not going to be washing the one you used yesterday, then be sure to have a new one, fresh and ready that you can wear the next day, right? Now guys, okay. my next tip is please do clean up with water after using the toilet this is a hygiene thing it's not about religion it's not about any kind of religious beliefs because some people think it's muslims that do this and you know guys please use water after using the toilet let me give you an example get your peanut butter you have peanut butter right please pick some peanut butter with your hands okay smear the peanut butter with your hands and then get tissue and clean it off okay with just tissue and then smell your hands and see if they smell clean they'll definitely be smelling the peanut butter and not just that but 
you won't feel good you'll feel like they feel a bit rough and you know crazy or oily or whatever they won't feel good so same way that's how we are supposed to clean ourselves after that toilet when you use that tissue trust me you it's not clean enough so please do use water immediately after using the toilet paper yeah use water so that you completely clean yourself and stay clean all day do this and you'll thank me later you're going to feel fresh all day and you're going to stay clean all day and then i know that there are some people who prefer using wipes wet wipes after using the toilet that's good yeah but make sure that the wipes you're using are unscented and non-alcoholic they should be a hundred percent water yeah so i think baby wipes will do better because they're usually this but please if you're buying those wipes the wet wipes read on the thing read on it yeah make sure that it's unscented uh it's non-alcoholic it has no alcohol content in it because if you keep using those wipes and they are scented or they have some alcohol content in them they're going to you might have some side effects in the long run yeah for instance if you're using it you know in your vagina you might end up having um, issues with your pH being disturbed and then you end up having other issues right tampering with the smell of your vagina and all that or you might end up getting a rash back there you know so please be careful with the wipes that you choose to use otherwise please do use water and soap right um now that i've mentioned water and soap let's completely look at how to clean your vagina yeah so guys do you know how to clean your vagina yeah um remember this part that we are talking about i don't know if you've if you guys have heard but it is it is said that this part is self-cleaning what they call the vagina is self-cleaning guys the vagina is inside what you see on top is the vulva that is what you see on top but the vagina itself is covered in there it's protected in there now that vagina in there is self-cleaning it cleans itself and then it brings out that dirt towards the vulva yeah it cleans from within it's actually closed only opens when you know there's a force that's making it open so it's closed it cleans itself in there and then it pushes out the dirt towards the vulva so what you're going to clean is the vulva the outer parts of you know of your private parts yeah the outer parts is a what you are supposed to clean because that is where it's pushing the dirt towards yeah and you know it is said that you're only supposed to use water when cleaning the vagina but some people confuse the vagina for the vulva as well like i said the vagina is the inside part and yes you're only supposed to use water when cleaning the vagina however the vulva and all these other outside parts the labia minora labia minora the clitoris these parts have to be cleaned with a bit of soap okay the soap should be unscented you know it should be unscented not perfumed or you could use the Femme wash, you know, there's lots of feminine wash on the market, but you also have to be careful with the feminine wash. But please, you use the soap on top. Don't try to wash in there with the soap. Use the soap on top, then, you know, clean with water on the top. Then you can now try to clean the inside with the water. But remember, it even self cleanses. Don't, so don't start pushing your fingers in there that you're cleaning inside there. No, don't do that. That is not right. Same thing with douching. Now, because we mentioned using water while cleaning, there are people who do douching. Have you heard of douching? Douching is, you know, um, getting some kind of force, water that has force, and then you force it into your your vagina. Oh my gosh, that is so wrong. Don't do that. You're going to mess with your pH. You end up getting, you know, some kind of infections at the, in the long run, yeah? So please don't do douching. Um, I was talking of the feminine washes, guys. So you have to be careful when you're buying those feminine washes. Make sure it's not scented. Make sure it's not perfumed. Make sure it's not um, medicated now let me tell you why i'm saying make sure it's not medicated um i don't know if you've noticed and if you have of course you won't share with us here i don't expect you to but if you can please let us know in the comment section if you've actually used this the, the medicated firm wash i noticed that because what happens most times when you use the medicated feminine wash you get used to using it and when you stop using it for a while, you start feeling funny down there. You start feeling like it's itchy. You start feeling like your, your smell is changing and you know you're getting a bad smell when you stop using the feminine wash. The ones that are here medicated, the ones that are medicated and perfumed specifically. You know like the Ugandan brands we have on the market in Uganda here, yeah? If you have noticed, you realize that 
they are perfumed first of all and that is wrong they better not be perfumed so they are perfumed and then they are also they say they are medicated and this is what happens when you start using that thing and use it every day every day what happens is maybe when it's finished and you haven't yet bought a new one or when you, you know skip using it for about three days you realize the smell of your vagina will change it will start smelling badly and then you will also realize you know funny things like you're getting itchy and then you will want to buy that thing again to help you keep it okay again but let me tell you something your vagina is supposed to be okay at all times unless you're having some kind of infection and you need to go to the hospital you know to be treated but if you're okay and you're using that thing and that happens and you feel like oh i should get this thing very fast i'm feeling funny please stop using it okay please stop using it it's the one that's actually messing up your hormones and your ph down there it's the one that's messing up the good bacteria that's supposed to be protecting you in there and now it's acting as the protector and when you don't use it that's when you start feeling bad and itchy and all that yeah so please do not use the scented femme wash the ones that are perfumed the ones that are medicated in some sort of way unless you're sick and it's medicinal and you know your doctor has actually told you that you should use it but if you're just buying something off the market to help you keep clean and fresh well then avoid those okay just buy your simple feminine wash that you can use to clean up um i've also heard of people who use the face wash i also agree i think face wash is really good because you know it's like our face is the most um like it's the most sensitive part of our body right so if it is something that you use on your face and it actually has no problem it's not affecting you in any way then i believe it's that soft and you can also use it to clean up you know down there right so yes you can use some face wash you can use um the unscented you know feminine wash and make sure that you clean yourself really well yeah um and then of course guys please shave often please shave often because if you're trying to keep that part clean actually both the vagina and your armpits if these are parts that are easily kept clean when you shave often you know because when you don't shave the sweat builds up that's when you easily get a bad smell yeah so please shave often make sure and that then there are parts you know, of our body that we have to you know give extra care when we are bathing those parts that are kind of enclosed you know Parts like our underarms because you know you're always like this those are sensitive parts that need to be really cleaned thoroughly well you see this this is also a part that needs to be cleaned thoroughly well even below your knees so your shoulders the front of your shoulders the back of your knees your underarms your belly button yes even your belly button i don't know if you guys do clean that as well um and then your bum line okay is it called the bum line that space between your two buttocks that space also needs to be cleaned really really well guys yeah so while you're finishing up with the front and you know going downwards towards the back make sure that you turn your hand back here with your femme wash or whichever soap you're using and make sure that you clean that bum line as well thoroughly well yeah and then the other important part to clean are your nails most especially those with very long nails yeah so please do give your nails an extra wash make sure that you wash underneath your nails okay so be sure to get in there and pick out all the dirt that's in there you don't have to be moving around with dirty nails or even trying to eat with your nails and yet they have dirt in them so please always be sure whenever you're washing your hands be sure to clean beneath your nails as well okay um, i hope i also mentioned um that if you really have a very strong odor in your armpits then consider using um lemon because lemon is very very good for for helping you with doing out with the bad smell in your armpits so if you feel like it's strong and you need extra tension to it then please after bathing please do your some lemon or even before you take a shower yeah uh, squeeze some lemon juice into your armpits give it about 10 minutes before you wash it off and then also lemon is a good detoxifier for your body so in case you're looking at detoxifying your body which you should do guys you should do um detoxify so that you cleanse out all the dirt within your system yeah so lemon water is very good just get some warm water squeeze in a lemon and drink that maybe early in the morning or before you go to bed yeah apple cider vinegar is another great thing for detoxifying so you can put a little bit in water and drink it actually with apple cider vinegar you can also put a little bit in your bath water or the water you're going to use to wash you know your private parts it's good it helps um you can also use it to wash your undies yeah 
soak it with your undies and then wash them and it will still help yeah so those two things apple cider vinegar and lemon are great to help you with your hygiene as well yeah um and then the other most important thing guys i don't know how often you guys change your toothbrushes and your um your sponge or i was once in a health trading and we were talking about good sponges yeah the, you know there's this sponge that's a sponge and then it has a string up and down so you can use it you hold one side of the string and the other to you know scrub your back so it really makes it easy and this lady was telling us how she has it and it's really good and she loves it and then she said she has had it for years she has had it for years guys do not use a sponge for over a year even these are things we have to change after maybe like six months a sponge Please change it. You're keeping bacteria in there that now you're using to clean your body. You're not even getting clean, yeah? A toothbrush. Change your toothbrush every after three months at least. You know? So that you have something clean, you know? Oh, guys. The more you can... Please change your toothbrush. Please change your sponge. Often. And then speaking of the toothbrush, guys, how do you brush your teeth? That is also important. Our oral hygiene is also very important here yeah? so please make sure you're brushing twice a day be sure to brush before you go to bed if you don't you're definitely waking up with a bad odor but how are you brushing now no matter how many times you brush no matter how well you scrub your teeth no matter how white your teeth is if you're not cleaning your tongue well you're going to have a bad breath as long as you're not cleaning your tongue well so be sure to clean to brush your tongue yeah and then you can also use these uh they're called scrapers the ones that you, you can use maybe use a plastic spoon to just you know clean that tongue very well scrape off whatever it is is on your tongue and you realize you have a fresh breath and then also if you feel like your brush is your breath is still not good within the day carry some mints with you you know something that you can chew on to you know help revive your breath you know you've been in office you feel like doesn't smell so good have a mint with you that you can chew on before you go for that meeting before you go to meet that guy before you go for that party yeah so that you go feeling fresh and clean and confident um and okay. then actually the other thing that you can also use is taking probiotics yeah so you can take probiotics like the cranberry um just buy probiotics from a pharmacy those that they know can help you know with your um vaginal health with your physical health generally as a lady just go to the farm just find out those that are good for you and have some probiotics that you keep taking just to keep healthy it's to right? always and then the yeah. other most important thing um, is to always carry a sanitary towel with you please always carry a sanitary towel with you i know you feel like you know your dates you feel like things never go wrong with you it's always this particular date but one time it might go wrong you might need that particular you might need it you know you might need it you never know so just always have you know um our an extra sanitary towel with you or even even when you're not in your piece but if you're in your piece it's even then more important but even if you're not in your piece it's really important to have because you never know you wouldn't want to find yourself in that situation where your your mess has come and you have nothing to use yeah um and then the last tip i would share with you guys is to just generally be very keen love your body and know your body and understand your body be keen look at yourself what do i want to change look at your lips are they dry are they cracked find out what can i use to help my you know um should i use sunscreen by the way some people don't know that they can also use sunscreen on your lips you can you can definitely use sunscreen on your lips moisturize your lips all the time keep them fresh is it your feet do you have cracked feet be sure to know find out give your feet um more attention you know scrub them moisturize actually if you have cracked feet you can put on a moisturizer and stockings before bed it really helps to soften them yeah or oil stockings and then go to bed yeah so be keen about your own body love yourself and you know look for those things that are disturbing you research about them find out what you can do to help yourself you know feel better basically concentrate on what you need to change about your body that you do not like research about it find the products that are going to help you buy the right products and do your best yeah I mentioned the sensitive parts that you have to clean um you also have to clean behind your ears guys one of the sensitive parts yeah so behind your ears um your navel you know do you clean your navel your navel behind the ears these sensitive parts like the the front of the you know your elbows the back of the knees um your bum line like i mentioned the back of your neck and for people who have eczema you will notice that you know you're mostly getting it at the back of the neck and then these parts or behind your knees so please those are the parts that are keeping sweat 
so give them an extra cleanse when you're washing up even in between your thighs there yeah that is also another part that needs an extra that needs extra attention yeah you need to know these parts and give them a you know a thorough wash and an extra cleanse yeah okay guys so that's all i had to share with you guys today but if you do have more hygiene tips please share with us in the comment section and let us keep learning together if you love the video please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching bye